There's an important line that we might miss in today's gospel if our focus is only on this great miracle that Jesus performed. The line comes somewhere in between. The man believed the word that Jesus spoke to him and then went on his way. Do we believe God's word? Are we convinced about everything written in the Bible? Do we live by the gospel? My dear brothers and sisters, we live in a world that is so broken, a world that is so sick. So many of us are suffering. So many people perhaps finding it difficult to really survive in the present circumstances of the pandemic. People have lost jobs, people have lost loved ones, people are struggling to make ends meet. And yet, where do we get all our answers to everything? Where can we still find our peace, our calm, if not in the scriptures and in the spoken word of Jesus? I believe the Lord wants to bring about healing in our own lives. Healing from so many infirmities that we are suffering from. But do we trust in the Lord? Do we truly believe in His word and are convinced that the Lord and the Lord alone can truly bring that healing into our lives? I would think that the official in today's gospel might have used Jesus as a last resort. Perhaps he might have gone to the best of doctors who did do their best. They made every effort to heal that boy. But when all was in vain, when nothing worked, he went to the Lord. Maybe not use the Lord as a last resort, but as perhaps someone who we know and trust is always with us by our side 24 7. We do have to trust and believe in doctors and physicians, our healthcare workers, but also turn to the Lord because the Lord has a plan for each one of us to make us well, to restore our health and once again so that we can each continue to give praise and glory to God. God bless and do have a Jesus-filled day.